All right, guys, I wanted to start off this video just by thanking you. We're almost at 6,000 subscribers, and I started this channel about mid-February this year, so we're coming up on about four months, and I wouldn't have been able to get here without you guys, and honestly, I wouldn't be able to be here today without Curtis Stone's help. He's really helped build my channel and make my information accessible to you, and I just wanted to say I've had a lot of fun making these videos. I really appreciate all of your comments. I really appreciate you guys following this channel because, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I'm able to reach out to you, really demonstrate what we're doing here on the farm. And I've had a lot of great feedback and a lot of great people that have connected with me. And we've really been successful filling our education pro program called The Mentorship. Completely sold out this year and I'm looking to sell out next year as well and I've already had at least 20 emails in the last couple weeks since I opened up our 2018 spots. So I just wanted to say, you know, thank you guys for following it, following this channel. We have lots of great stuff coming out. I even have Victor here. Victor's just finishing up our 30 day workshop. Here he is. But what, what I want to talk to you guys about is that I'm just about to relaunch our WTF t-shirt campaign. I have about 10 people that have already signed up and I want to get my shirt out to you guys and I've had a lot of people send me some emails so that's starting today we're doing relaunching another 21 day campaign for the WTF t-shirt not sure if I'm gonna launch it anymore but that's coming out now guys and with that I'm gonna give you some content I'm gonna tell you guys how to recalibrate our pressure sterilizers we have some all-american sterilizers here and eventually these dials they need some calibration and you can see right here it's at two and i'm gonna have to take it apart and recalibrate this sterilizer and show you guys just how to do that and that's coming up next So I'm just in the middle of doing our second batch of grain jars today and one of our All-American units has desperately needed to, been, needed to be calibrated for quite some time now and I thought this was a good time to make a video because this is something I had to actually learn on my own. It's not in the manual and I actually had to contact All-American and they tried to show me how to calibrate these over the phone and really they didn't really do a good job and I had to kind of figure this out on my own based on the information they had told me and I wanted to make it really clear how to do this. It's really simple. All you need is a quarter inch wrench and some Loctite. We're going to take the panel apart and I'm going to show you how we calibrate these units. Really what we need to do is actually bring them up to 20 PSI. I'm even going to use, I'm even going to do this while I'm doing a batch and we're gonna calibrate the units while they're full, get it set to where it needs to be, and then I'm just gonna run the unit as normal, and the Loctite will set, and I'll show you how to do that, and it's really, really simple. But for now, I got another interesting situation here that I might as well show you in this video as well. Uh, I, Victor and I, we, we just unloaded uh, two of these units here and loaded them up again with new jars and one of the lids actually wouldn't pop off and this this definitely does happen sometime sometimes and really you know not a big deal all you need is a flathead screwdriver and you need to heat these units up so that the metal starts heating up and then expanding and then you can pop the lid off just by using a flathead wrench or a flathead screwdriver and I'm just gonna put it right in here and just gently push up and it'll just pop 
right off. This lid was actually fused together and it was stuck. And as soon as you heat it up, they come right off. So really simple. So this lid's gonna come off, no problem now. As you can see there. I'm gonna unload this unit. I'm gonna load it with unsterilized jars and get the clean jars in the lab. And then once uh, this unit right here, once this unit right here, once it reaches 20 PSI, I'm gonna put it on my freezer chest and we're gonna go underneath and open the panel up and I'm gonna show you exactly how to calibrate these units. put a little bit of tin foil just over top of these jars and that's just so water doesn't get absorbed through the filter patch. Whether or not this is necessary or not, this is how I've always done it. So everything gets wrapped in tin foil and we reuse these a lot so you can see this is pretty ragged. These are going to go in here, I'm going to throw the lid on here, we wipe the seal with paper towel and you can see all this grit coming off of the paper towel here. All of this will actually allow air to escape. And if you don't clean this off, you're gonna get little air pockets that escape from the unit and then these won't actually pressurize. So we clean these up and every once in a while, maybe every four weeks or so, a little bit of Vaseline on the edge just to keep this metal to metal seal really clean and prevent it from drying out. So I'm gonna get the lids on here. We're gonna bring these up to temperature we're gonna get some steam exhausting from the stop cup for about 10 minutes. We'll close the valve, let these pressurize to 20 PSI, and then I'll turn down the knob until the unit shut off, and then that's it. Then they're calibrated to go between 16 and 20 PSI, and they'll continuously shut off and on for about an hour and a half uh, is how long we sterilize these jars. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but there's a rubber gasket right in this stopcock here that likes to get loose sometimes and you need to get a piece of clothes hanger, a piece of wire and get in there and just kind of pop it back so that you can get a nice seal. Otherwise, when you close this valve here, air is gonna escape out and these units aren't going to pressurize. So this happens every once in a while and I just use a piece of clothes hanger and I just pop it back in. Just like that, good as new. So these units will eventually not turn off and eventually you're gonna find that you're turning, turning the dial and you're gonna turn it all the way down to two or one and you're gonna turn it all the way down and the units are still not gonna turn off. And that is when you need to recalibrate the switch so that you can eventually turn it off hopefully around four, five, or six settings. So in order to calibrate these all-American electric sterilizers, you need to get underneath the unit and take off the panel, as seen here, and then get in there with your quarter-inch wrench and hold the nut that is attached to the switch. And the switch is what controls, it's a pressurized switch that controls these units to turn on and off. And you need to calibrate these units at 20 PSI so once your unit reaches 20 PSI, like seen in this video, you're going to then put your quarter inch wrench on the nut and slowly turn the dial from 10 until the unit shuts off. And that is going to recalibrate these units to shut off between anywhere between 4 and 6 depending on what you're looking to do. And then you just got to put a little bit of Loctite on the nut and let it sit for 24 hours. And you can keep this unit running, you're going to see it turn on and off from 20 PSI shut off and then kick back on and kick back on again around 16 psi all right guys you see how simple that is we got the unit calibrated up everything's working now and i just wanted to show you guys a quick video of how to do this because this isn't anywhere on the internet right now and it's really simple and this definitely happens with these units all the time and if, and if you didn't know how to calibrate this, you might think there's something wrong with your switch and you have to buy a new switch and that's like at least $150, $200 and it's definitely not necessary. So this is something you're gonna always need to have on hand. Have a quarter inch wrench and some Loctite and these units, as they get banged around and moved a lot, the, the, the nut does, does move and calibration seems to be necessary at least once a year. So just something to note.
Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave a link below for our WTF t-shirt campaign. That is going to be live now with this video. And you have 21 days to, to get your own WTF t-shirt. And all you're doing is supporting me, supporting this channel, and helping me improve my vlogging gear so that I can provide better content for you. Anyways, we'll talk to you soon.